Good evening, Saturday night, and time for another uh, brief talk. Uh, this is Bread and Butter Primary Care. I'm Dr. Stokes. Tonight, I'd like to talk about cholesterol. So the title of this video is, What is Cholesterol and Why Do We Care? So cholesterol is a pretty big thing in medicine. I'm, it's one of the things you hear most about, especially on the news and um, in media and those types of things. And there's a lot of information. And I totally understand a lot of it can be very confusing because people talk about good cholesterol and people talk about bad cholesterol. And um, just in the years that I've been practicing medicine, the different ways we measure it, um, what the numbers that used to be high aren't necessarily the numbers we call high anymore. And it's kind of a moving target and all this type of stuff. So there can be some confusion about it. I'm going to do a whole series of videos on cholesterol this is the first one of that series, just simply answering three different questions, really. What is cholesterol? Where does it come from? And what does it do? Okay, so we're going to cover those three things, and then we'll talk more about how we treat it, how we measure it, uh, lifestyle things that can help with it, all that kind of stuff in further videos. So first off, what is cholesterol? Cholesterol is a kind of fatty, waxy substance that forms an important part of our cell membranes. Okay, so we're made up of cells, skin cells, liver cells, blood cells, brain cells, um, and those cells are contained in a membrane. And one of the components in that membrane in all cells is cholesterol. Okay, so it plays an important role in the membrane. Um, we make all the cholesterol we need though. So this kind of already is diving into that second question as far as where does it come from. So cholesterol comes from two different places. We make cholesterol. Our liver actually makes its own cholesterol, um, and it makes all we need, generally speaking. And then we eat it. You know, so we have there's cholesterol in our food, obviously that uh, that we take in. So those are the two places where cholesterol comes from. So it's this fatty, waxy substance that forms an important part of the cell membrane. So we need some cholesterol. Without it, our cells wouldn't function. The problem comes when we simply have too much cholesterol. So as far as how cholesterol works in the body, um, we've all seen what happens if you take a bowl of water and pour oil into it. The oil sticks together in a little bubble, and the water sticks together. Um, oil and water, we know, don't mix. Cholesterol is a very fatty, oily substance, so it can't just float around in the blood. If it was just floating in the blood, it would all clump together just like oil and water. So in order to get cholesterol from the liver to the cell membranes where it's needed, it's carried around in little packages, little package vehicles, you could say. And those little packages are called lipoproteins. Okay, There's two main types of lipoproteins, high-density lipoproteins, HDLs, low-density lipoproteins, LDLs. And those different lipoproteins have two different jobs. So the LDL, low-density lipoprotein, they take cholesterol from the liver, from the bloodstream, and they carry it out to the body to put it in the cell membranes where it's needed. High-density lipoproteins, HDL, they take the cholesterol from the tissues and from the bloodstream, and they bring it back to the liver to be processed. So LDLs deliver the cholesterol to the cells. HDLs bring it on back. And that's where we get the good and bad cholesterol story from. So when your doctor checks, checks your blood and checks your cholesterol levels, we can't actually measure directly the cholesterol levels because the cholesterol is always packaged in these little particles. So what we're measuring is the amount of HDL, high density, and, low, and LDL, low density lipoproteins. People who have very high cholesterol have high amounts of those numbers. People with low cholesterol have low amounts. So what we're actually measuring is the lipoprotein level, but what those lipoproteins do is carry cholesterol. So we can infer that what your cholesterol levels are given the lipoprotein levels. So liver's making cholesterol. We're eating cholesterol. It's packaged in these lipoproteins. The LDL, low density, take it out to the body. HDL, bring it back to the liver. So low density are the bad cholesterol because they're delivering cholesterol to the tissues. And HDL are the good cholesterol because they can bring it back. Now, the reason LDLs are bad 
only comes into play if there's too many of them. So it's it's like um, these little these LDLs are carrying the cholesterol and they're taking it out to deposit in the cell membranes where it's needed. If the cells need it, then the LDLs take it out, they empty it out, it, it goes to use, and they return empty, right? Ready to take out more cholesterol. The problem occurs when there's too much. So it's almost as though, and this is a simplification, but it's helpful to help understand it. It's almost as though if the LDL takes the cholesterol out and there's nowhere to put it, the LDL just doesn't know what to do. It just parks itself in the side of the artery. And then another LDL comes along and there's no need for the cholesterol. It's, you know, there's not a need for it, so it just parks itself in the side of the artery. And so you've got an artery with the blood running through, and after 10 years of these extra LDLs floating around, they just park themselves on the side of the artery. So pretty soon you've got this plaque. You've got a cholesterol plaque that has built up on the inside of the artery. And so instead of the artery being this wide so that blood can flow through, maybe it's half as wide because you've got a plaque sitting here of all these LDLs that they didn't have anywhere to put the cholesterol so they just park themselves and that's a cholesterol plaque. Now if that makes the artery thin enough that a blood clot can block it or if it blocks it completely because that plaque gets so big the blood can't get downstream and you've got yourself a heart attack, you've got yourself a stroke. So LDLs are bad because if there's too many of them they park themselves in the arteries and cause a plaque which can then cause problems. HDLs are good because HDLs actually grab the cholesterol, the extra, and bring it back to the liver. Okay, so you actually want a high HDL and a low LDL. So that's what cholesterol is. Fatty substance, the cell membranes need it. They need to use it. Um, where it comes from, we eat it and we make it. So we don't actually need to eat it, but it is part of our diet. We make it in the liver. And why we care is because if there's too much, especially if there's too many of the LDL particles, they get deposited in the side of the artery, they form those plaques which narrow the arteries and increase the chance of having heart attacks, strokes, or other vascular diseases. So just like when we talked about blood pressure, having a high cholesterol isn't going to hurt you right now. It's not going to do anything to you today. But having a high cholesterol for 10 years makes your arteries thinner, um, less pliable, and more prone to have problems occur. So it's a, it's a cumulative process over years that makes cholesterol a problem. LDL, bad cholesterol, taking it out, and if there's nowhere to put it, it just parks it. HDL, good cholesterol, bringing it back. So I hope that's helpful in a little bit of understanding what cholesterol is and what it does. Um, certainly look for the, uh, other videos as far as how do we manage those levels? How do we increase our HDLs? How do we lower our LDLs? What do the medicines do? When do we start medicines? When do we not? All those things I'll be covering in other videos, but this one I just wanted to keep a description of those few things. Um, hope that's helpful for anybody. If there's specific questions or anything, certainly feel free to leave comments and I can take a look at those. Have a great night.